everyone, it's Beverly Cole and I'm here in my studio. I hope everyone is doing well. Here is the envelope. I made it with my envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, which is really fun. I couldn't use a paper from my kit because it's not big enough. This had to be six and a quarter by six and a quarter, I believe. So what I'm doing, I saw this online, is I'm making the envelope puffy. So I'm just attaching so that it's got some dimension, so you can see here, that it's not just flat and I'm gonna stuff it with stuff. But before I do that, I wanna line the envelope. So I made some background paper. I made some flowers for the front. These are made with tattered florals by Tim Holtz. Using my background papers, and I attached them with some little three-dimensional squares. But when I put them on my envelope, they will be puffy. So the way I'm gonna do this, put those flowers aside, is I'm gonna take the envelope and I'm just going to trace the inside and then probably go down to about well, probably the rest of the inside. So let's just make some lines there. Okay, so now I will go in with my scissors inside that line, just to make sure that my envelope liner gives me a little bit of a margin. So I'm cutting about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch inside that line. So when I put this inside my envelope, it will look very nice. This is the envelope, there's the distressing. Move that aside and I'm gonna put this in. Let's distress the edges of this. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue stick for that. All right, so it's going in here. Leave my little bit of an edge. If you wanted to have it come up all the way, you could. It looks more like a, you know, a regular envelope. Let me leave that little bit of extra edge. And then the flowers I'm gonna add. So I'm going to use some beacon glue because I don't want to use a lot of wet stuff right now and this will dry really quickly. So I'm just gonna put some around like that and I like to get them off the edge of the envelope. I just think it's gonna be super cute. All right, so this one I made a mistake and pulled something off that I didn't like. So that's why you see that tape there, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave that and glue this one down. I'm gonna let that dry. Cover my glue. I have a list of things that I have to put in the envelope. One of them is a large tag, one large Christmas tag, six by three. Well, I made the tag and I made a little pocket at the bottom and it's got a little um, card in there. And you can see that I used a die cut, glossy black cardstock, and some of the florals from the kit. And I used some New Book Glitter Drops to, and you're gonna, I've used those a lot in this. I even used it here. And look how green it looks, isn't that interesting? It's on black paper. But anyway, that goes in the pocket here. And I did distress all the edges. And here, you I just buy these. And then I stamped, this one I just used black um, ink on, made them black. And then I have a sheet that I made distressed and stamped on them. So now all this needs, the back is black. All this needs is a ribbon. And I decided that I with that green glitter, I thought this ribbon would be really pretty on this tag. Through the hole. And you get a loop here. The tricky thing with this ribbon is to get the pretty side of the ribbon showing. And these are from my stash. Okay. All right, so that's done. Check that one off. And then I had to send a Christmas card. So here's one using the background paper from the um, tea room set, the um, group I have on Facebook called the Artsy Crafter Addiction. <laughs> there are freebies there. And this background paper is one of them. So you need to go check that out. So this card is done and that's going in. That's done, check that off. So then I needed to make, let's see, let me get a pen and actually do check these off, or a pencil. Let's see, Christmas three, uh, large Christmas tag, check. Uh, Christmas card, check. And there's only a few more things. Now, three tags, and I did those. I made tags um, in GIMP using my images and background papers. So, and punched little holes and inked the edges. So here's one with the background paper that I used, just used to line my envelope, but I lightened it and erased a bit of the edge and added the florals and the two in front. So that's done. Added some ribbon. 
and a little bit of the Nouveau Drops. And then on this one, same thing. This is my stamp from the same set. That's the Christmas Cactus. And then this one is the Lavender Poinsettias, or Mauve <laughs> Poinsettias. Oh, goodness. So those are done. Those go in. Check that off. Now, I have to do an ornament, and this is an ornament. I worked with my friend at her house the other day. Um, it makes a star. It makes quite a large star. And then you can close it up, and you can hang it. So what I needed to add was ribbon, but I hadn't added it. I, um, I need to put something, like a piece of this, over the ribbon. I decided to use... Oh, I just dropped it in my coffee. Are you kidding? Coffee drop. Coffee stained ribbon. Oh, goodness. How funny. Hold on. Let me just get another piece. This pink ribbon. I'm using a... No, that's not what I decided. Hmm. I'm using this bead. You use the bead to hold the ribbon. And I need to find out... I need an extra long piece here. To put it through the bead, I'm cutting my ends super, super um, pointy. Can you see that? So both the ends of the ribbon are pointy, and then they'll go through the bead. So what I need to find out is if this is thick enough to hold the bead from sliding, because when you put this on, gah, when you put the bead on, you want the bead to hold the ribbons from sliding. So I need a ribbon that's thick enough. Oh, there's one end. Oh, I got both of them, look at that. So see what happens is after this is glued on, you can slide the speed. That's what I needed. Okay, so what this is going to be is a loop of ribbon that's going to be here and then to the other side. So what I'm gonna do first is we use some of that fabric glue. Let me make sure I've got this correct. You want this to go like this. Yes. Can you see that? It's huge, but it's so cool. It's pink on the sides and black on the front. And I will add some glitter to this, but I want to first finish making it. So make sure that the fold is down. See all the folds? Make sure all the folds are down and the ribbon will go there. Okay, so I'm gonna slide the ribbon so it's not so, let me move this down now for this product. Okay. Yeah, there. All right, come on now. All right, so I'm going to put glue. Here's the folds and I'm gonna put the line of glue right here, up to the middle, and attach one side of this ribbon you know, it's going to be easier without that on there. It's just, we'll fight to put it on again. One end of that here. Okay, glue that. Then I'm going to turn it over so the folds are still at the bottom. Add some glue on this side. Right, tip to tip. Uh-oh, lost the cover to my glue. That's not good. Where'd you go? Okay. And we'll take the other side of the ribbon, just across the bottom, and up the other side. So, there, that's like that. Now, I don't want the ribbon showing here. So I'm going to cut two more pieces of this. I can't remember what this measures. It measures one and three, wait, one and little, one and three quarters. I'm one and three quarters. Okay, so well, that's quickly drying. It doesn't take long. I'm gonna cut two of these. One and three quarter. Is that what I said? One and three quarters? Oopsie, this way. Oh, 
white. One and three quarters. That's not right. Two and three quarters. <laughs> two and three quarters. Bam, by two and three quarters. By two and three quarters. Okay, so there's my two little pieces. And I'm just going to glue those over this. So you won't see the ribbon. Now, of course, you know me. I don't want that white edge. See the white edge? I don't want that showing. So that's going to get covered by some ink. And I'm going to use an old paper. And this is just really fun. This has opened me up to a whole new thing. I never thought of doing a stuffed envelope. And I was on a trip in my RV and I it popped up and I I had missed it somehow because of in the RV, we hadn't had a lot a good Wi-Fi, and so I was using up a ton of data. And I was like, well, I'm not trying not to use it when we were in the camper. Maybe try to you know use it where we could get some free Wi-Fi. So I missed it, and I just said, Well, I'm how did I miss that? I want to be part of that. So they said, Okay, you can. Well, just find another person that wants to do it with you. Look, and you could stay in the U.S. or not. And I decided, yeah, I'll stay in the U.S. And it wasn't long, same day, I believe, uh, someone popped up and said they wanted to do it. So she texted me and said, my package is on its way to you. And it's not due for almost, I mean, it doesn't have to be due till the end of November, by the end of November. And I'm pretty good at procrastinating. So when she sent that, I was like, uh-oh, I got to get that done, sent because I want to send it before I get hers. I don't want to feel like I, you know, am comparing it all. I think the whole thing is to do it your way and it's a gift from you and it should reflect your personality, right? And how much more personality could I show than to use my own images and papers, right? So here we are and I'm attaching that. So that covers the ribbon, look at that. Okay, now another thing I wanted to do was add some images of my florals to this. So, I'm adding on one side this, which is a cutout of the um, poinsettias from the set, and then on the other side, I'm going to put this one. So let's ink those edges. Don't want the white showing. No white, even though this is just, I mean, I'm gonna just lay this down here like this and just go around the edges like that. And that way I know I got all the edges really quickly here. Same with this one. So I'm consistently using the same color of ink. Pretty much, I don't know, I can't remember if I used another color. I might've used some black soot, but. So here we will use, I think they should be three dimensional. That might be fun, right? Let's do that. So I'm gonna use these teeny tiny three dimensional things that I bought or that I got when I worked with Sparkle and Sprinkle. Oh, those, those are too small. I'll be nipped, I'll just be. Ugh, going out crazy with those. These are good for small areas. Let me get... They're a bit bigger. There we go. So I'll just use these. Put them... Oh, no, my bead! <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I'm going to put it inside a roll of tape. That way it won't disappear again. And you can see what I'm doing, right? Okay, so I'm putting some dimensionals here. Three of them on this one, that'll be good enough. And then on this one, one, four on this one. Take my handy little picky tool, pull off the backs. Oh, come on. 
you know, sometimes this isn't the easiest way. Oh, I use my finger now. I got a little bit of a finger down. And pull this off. And this one goes, uh, that's the top of my ornament. So I think it will be pretty this way. And it's 3D. How pretty is that? And then we'll flip it over. And we'll use this one on the other side. One. I have the drop seeds today. What's funny is when I put this one here, you're hardly going to see any of the... Okay. Cute. Now we'll slide that bead on again. Hopefully it will work. See, when you open it like this, I have to make sure I have enough wiggle. Okay. I... Let's, let's just feed these through again. I think I need to recut the ends because they're kind of frayed. Make it sharp. And make it pointy. And we will fit those through that bead again. So the bead is on again and I'm going to fish it through to the top here. Close this. Press that down. And at the top, I'm going to tie a knot. As far up as I can on my ribbons. And then I'm going to trim this ribbon the same as that one. Boom. Okay, so here's the ornament, right? And then when you open it, you slide the bead all the way up. And then you can open it up and then you slide the bead down and your ornament is open. Let me back this up a little again so you can see it. Okay, see it? Isn't it great? Okay, so when I send it, and I will put glitter on all the edges and on the flowers. So when I send it, it'll be like this. And I think I'm going to have to glue that little thing down there. Wait, hold on. Let's just glue that down. Not with this glue. I think I'll just use a little glue stick that I dropped on the floor. Right, let's just lower you guys again. That needs to be glued because if it's not, it's gonna it's gonna fall off eventually, and I don't want that to happen. You this one too. That one doesn't want to go down. And this one. Come on. That one looks okay. This one is a little bit too long. Okay. So those, another thing you can do to strengthen something like that is put a little bit of glue on the back or a little bit of um, glossy accents on the back and it will strengthen it. Or you could just cover the whole thing with glossy accents. That's an idea. Okay, so here's the ornament. So I made some extra. Here's some of those extra. When you get a sheet of these tags, they will be um, ready for you to cut and embellish. You don't have to do any coloring on these. They're all done. Just punch a hole in the corner and put a ribbon through it. How easy is that? Now, what else am I putting in there? Then I have a little bag of things that I'm going to send, and I have a bag of ribbon that I'm sending. But this needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to add a quarter inch to each side of this and make this four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna just use, um, this is the Love Joy piece paper that I have in the Christmas Joy paper pack. So let's use this, four and a quarter, four and a quarter. And this will be the back for my 
baggie. This will be the topper. And I should have made it twice that size so I could fold it over. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just cut another four and a quarter by four and a half. That way. I will have somewhere to attach this. I'll attach it. Score it at four and a quarter. easy enough to do, just a little bit of glue stick. And match the edges perfectly. And the glue stick is your little wiggle room. If you use tape, it won't do that. And you'll have to finagle it. There we go. Okay, that's glued together there. So that will, I'm gonna ink the edges. And then this will go there, where you want it. And this I've already dressed up with Nouveau Drops and that's one of my frames, my um, Art Deco frames that I cut out here so the black piece could show through. And that is my topper for my bag of goodies. Here's the ribbons, that's cute, right? Let's take it in place. I'm gonna add a couple staples. Make sure the bag is straight. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so there's that. Look at that. Yep, a variety of ribbons. Okay, so there's my bag of ribbon. Check that one off. This is a very tiny, tiny, tiny set of die cuts. <laughs> really tiny. Um, it's a whole little village with lampposts and trees and snowflakes and snowman and a little horse. I mean, it's so tiny. I found this little container and I thought, well, you know what? That would be a good thing because, you know, she can open it, use them, and she has somewhere safe to keep them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This I need to make a piece to fit in here, right here. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a piece of and press it in there with a stylus. Come on, just to give me an idea how big to make it because it's I mean, if you have a better way to do this let me know but i just don't seem to be able to figure one out so i see in here i'm going to just cut out oopsie sorry i'm going to just cut out the area that i'm sinking down in and just rough cut it here two Make a little paper label for this. There, okay, so it could be a little bit bigger than that. Now let's just take a piece of the Love Piece Joy background, okay? And I'm going to just turn it over, use the back, and I'll use those straight edges to my benefit. And just make a piece about that big. Okay. Let's see how that works. You know, it's just kind of touch and go. Let's see. You can always make it smaller. I think that will work if I cut out these corners or use my corner here. Perfectly, oh, that corner rounder. I think I got that one at a yard sale. 
and it's a little dull. Okay, so I'm gonna just look how cute. Oh yeah, that'll work. So once again, I the edges, and we'll glue that in there. Use my bone folder to make sure all the corners are down. Okay, and then I wanna put an image on here. Okay. So I have one of my, sorry, the cover was getting away from me. These are just uh, the, a bloom from the Christmas cactus. And a bloom from the paper whites. So these are, you know, not your everyday choices for Christmas colors, but I think it's awesome. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these little teeny weeny die cuts in there. I've been trying to round up, look at that little tiny lamppost. Oh my gosh, and here's a tree. Okay, so there they are, safe and sound in this little container, right? Okay. And we'll add a little glitter to this. And I'm just gonna cover the whole flowers with glitter since there's nothing else on here. And it's tiny, so it should be cute. And I'm thinking I might tie a ribbon around it just to make it cute. As she shakes it, she'll hear there's something in there. Okay, so that's done. This could be a topper. It's a narrow topper, but it's something I started. And then this piece could be the back of the topper. I'll just glue it together up there. Okay, so that's for my bag topper. I have a few more things to put in there. Oh, here, I found while I was looking, I found these. Those are the ones I stamped and inked. I do a sheet at a time. We got a bunch of different ones soon. I'll see. Like that. Okay, I have a lot of these. They are clear bags and they have a hanger. So what I could do is empty all of my goodies into there. I saved some of these. I want to put some of these in. With those, I have some little tiny safety pins, and they're going to go in there. Then I have a little charm that says "I love you," and that's going to go in there. And then I have some little bells, little bell, um, little bell um, paper fasteners. I'm going to put those in. And another little star. This is tiny and it says for you, just for you. So put those in. I was going to put, I think I'm, the other things I was going to put, I'm going to save for another time. Then I have got this at a yard sale of 50 cents. And it's from. This uh, retail price, nine yards, $4. <laughs> it's been a while ago. So I'm gonna send a length of this. Mm -hmm. And I think that's gonna be really cute. I'll fold it and then you're gonna wanna sharpen that edge down there. And here is the bag with all the goodies in it. Because it's sealed, it's hard to move them because there's no air pocket or anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to I think I'm going to just roll this like this 
and then attach this, which needs to be a little wider again. So we're gonna have to add another piece to that. So I'm just gonna staple this closed right now so that it doesn't open on me. Together. And then I can attach this to one side. And I don't need to use that other piece because I think it's decorative enough on the back with the flowers. And then I will just fold this over this. Okay, so there's my little bag of embellies. <sighs> Selection of dies or punches, check. Selection of buttons, sequins, ribbon, Christmas ornament, handmade. And I have two Christmas cards. So I just need to put this all together. Well, I'm almost done, but I did decide that I wanna put some vintage lace in here. So I'm going to cut Two pieces. I think that will work. I'm gonna make this one a little longer just in case I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I don't in my measuring. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this lace in there. So I'm gonna use fabric glue and just put some along the edge here. And this lace was this color when I got it. And we will stick this piece in here to trim it, press it there. This ribbon dries very, I mean, this glue dries very quickly. And I can see here I need to trim it across. How cute is that? And I think I want to add a little more glue up here and just kind of fold that piece back a little bit. Okay, so I folded that back a little. Then I have the other piece, and as I'm looking at it, I think that this piece is way long, but that's okay. So I'm going to add glue. Glue this one behind this one. Just kind of eyeballing to make sure they look the same. Then I'm going to trim across here and oh, tuck that down in a little and trim across. Make sure you use some scissors that you know will cut. <laughs> Okay, so there, chuck that one under a little. And now that looks very pretty, right? So let's line up what I have. Here's my envelope. Let me back this up a little so you can see everything. Okay. Here's my envelope. Here's my bag topper with my ribbon package. Here's my doodads and die cuts. Here's my little tiny village of die cuts. I think that's adorable. I might, oh, that's right, I wanna put a ribbon around that. Then I have the tag with the little insert. Then I have this Christmas card slim line. Then I have this Christmas card with a gold envelope and the three tags. What do you think? I think she'll like it. Now I just need to put it all together. So I'm not going to 
tape that part because it's gonna take some finagling and I just wanna show you what it looks like at the end. So I hope you enjoyed that. Whoa, holy moly, look what I forgot, my ornament. All right, so I will put this all in the envelope and take a picture of it and show what it looks like when it's done.